Hello folks, welcome to my today's video. This is Johnny. In this video, I'm going to talk about the password management for personal usage. I used to use LastPass for a long time and just recently they changed their policy. The LastPass will not support all devices. You only can choose between computer or mobile. There's only one device type you can use. Even it's still free, but uh, it's gonna cause in lots of inconvenience when you synchronizing your password crossing multiple different type of devices. So I'm looking at other options. One option I found is Bitwarden open source password manager. From the feature wise, looks like fantastic. They only have for one users, but let's find it's for personal usage. One user is okay. And it also sync all your devices. I also can out cloud host, self host option, price is zero. They have their apps, they have their plugins for all popular browsers. So perfect solution for personal usage. I don't see any reason why I cannot try it. Uh, one thing I want to do is I would like to build my own self-hosted vault based on Bitwarden installation guide. Here is very long documentation how to install and deploy. I'm not going through them and using this method to install it. I'm gonna use in Potainer, my own Potainer, and also using this Docker image, Bitwarden RS, such server, to create it my own self-hosted vault. So let's start it. First thing, um, one thing you need to do that before is you need to create your own domain. So I already created one for myself, BW. I already created this one to point into my server here in the cloud. In my container, I already have two containers installed. One is, of course, container, one is Nginx. If you look at my previous video here, you will see I already show you the steps how to create your own secure HTTPS container using Nginx reverse proxy with third bot to apply and configure Nginx to use HTTPS for your container. That's my previous video did that. You will find it from here. So to continue that is I'm gonna using this Bitwarden RS slash server this image to create in our Bitwarden vault in my own hosting server. So there's two steps. One is pull the image. Second step, just uh, start the Docker. So we're gonna change a little bit here and uh, get it working and secure. So first thing we need to pull the image. Um, it won't take long. While it's pulling the image, I'm gonna show you the Docker run command. So we're gonna map in the host folder bw-data to the docker folder data and the opening port 80. Since 80 already be used by Nginx, I'm gonna use in different port. Probably I can use the 8000 here. And other things I will keep the same. Um, I already created this folder in my host image. So I'm gonna copy this. The folder has been created and then I'm paste command. I'm going to change the port to 8000. So just a couple of seconds and it's finished. Then we'll go back to Portainer. 
then refresh it. You can see Bitwarden is starting here. It's port 8000. Another thing you may want to make sure is your cloud provider, your firewall has been open port 8000 because we're going to configure our Nginx in next step. So the status, let's refresh it. So it's just showing starting. There's another port 3012 opened, but uh, we didn't map it out. We only have the 8000 port out. After um, probably 10 seconds, you can see Bitwarden Docker has been changed the status to healthy status. One thing we can verify is accessing port 8000. We're going to access a southern this port to see the bit warden. Create your master password. Submit. Then we go back here to trying to log in and see what happened. It require HTTPS to use the web vault. So now, because we are using HTTP. That means it won't be pr we won't be able to process it for a security reason. So that's our most important part. We're gonna configure our Nginx to do that, as we did in our previous video for Pertainer. Uh, we are using HTTPS to access in Pertainer here. So we're gonna do same thing. So let's uh, go into Nginx. So you, we have our pertainer.conf, we did that before. So what we are doing is we're going to copy paste in there. Then we need to make changes here. BW, that's the TNS name we created, and then we are using 8000. You can delete those. Those are old configuration. And Ctrl X. Yes, save it. Same name. Now we're going to use insert bot to apply the certificates from let's encrypt and also modify bw.configuration which is nginx configuration to use that certificate. The command is insert bot dash nginx. So it will automatically find out two web application website here. So we do the we did the pertainer one. So we do first one which is bitwarden. So we are getting a new certificate. Remember, you will need pw.51sec.org to point in to this server IP. If you don't have that, that will be going to be a problem there. So 
you can choose no direct or to, to redirect it's fine so i'm choosing one here done the configuration has been completed let's look at it now p type so you will see uh, some listening in 443 other than that everything gonna be exactly the same as before so we can quit now don't forget reboot the service that has been done we're gonna try https bw.51 sec talk beautiful so now we have https previously we already created our master user so we're gonna use in that one Username and password is incorrected. Last time when we created using HTTP URL, doesn't work. It doesn't work. Not try it again. So we're gonna create it now. This is first time. We're gonna use in So we need to choose agreed is TOS. Perfect. Now we see your new account has been created. So we already logged in. We can use in my vault and you can see all settings here. You can change your master password. And you can log out, log in. Um, there's a create account option here. So if you would like to your friends, your family to use this same world, you can ask them to create this account. Else, in a pertainer option, you may want to do one more thing. Let's log back in again. So if, if, if we want to disable that uh, add account, we can duplicate our Bitwarden and add an option here to disable that option. Environment. Need to add environment variable here. You're gonna put it as false. Okay. Then deploy this container. So we're gonna remove that and then add this in with this new environment variables. Just waiting Bitwarden comes up. As you now you can see registration not allowed. The user is not existing, but the registration is not allowed. Let's go back and try to log in with my Okay. We still can log in here. Now you can add new items, you can install plugins. That gonna be your own self hosted vault you can bring it with you whenever you go thank you for watching please give me a thumb up if you like this video